Thank you for tuning in to the Shikama Live Show. Argentina deposits debt payment, but U.S. court blocks payout. Argentina has deposited the next payment needed to avoid a default on its restructuring bonds, but a U.S. federal court decided on Thursday not to let the payment go through. Both actions increased the state's stakes in a 12-year legal chess game between Argentina and creditors who refused to accept the downgraded terms offered by the country's 2005 and 2010 debt restructuring and are suing for full repayment. Argentina will have the month of July to negotiate with its holdout creditors before failing into falling into technical default. The next payment is due on Monday, but with that payment blocked by the courts, Buenos Aires will have a 30-day grace period to strike a deal with the holdouts. If it fails, Latin America's number three economy would be pushed into another painful default at the end of next month. Economy Minister Axel Kikilov said Argentina owes a $832 million coupon payment on restructured bonds on Monday. Quote, of that total, $539 million will was deposited into the account of the Bank of New York Mellon at the Central Bank of Argentina, Kikilov said, adding that the rest of the $832 million had been deposited by way of other financial institution. Quote, we affirm our commitment to honor our debt to all creditors, he said. In order to pay holders of the country's restructured bonds, Argentina needed to stay to be issued by U.S. District Judge Thomas Greasy of New York because he had ordered earlier that, or that Argentina was not to make payments without paying the holdouts at the same time. Greasy denied Argentina's stay request about an hour after Kikilov said the deposits had been made. Greasy scheduled a hearing for 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday after making a letter from the holdouts referencing the deposit and asking him to, quote, address this violation of its court orders. Grisa had ordered Argentina to play, pay the holdouts $1.33 billion plus accrued interest at the same time it pays the 93% of bondholders who accepted the 2005 and 2010 restructures. Argentina has said it cannot afford to pay so much to the holdouts and ask Grisa for a stay on that order, which would have allowed Monday's coupon payment to go through. Argentina's debt servicing costs are set to more than double in 2015 as its economy stagnates, inflation soars at about 30%, and foreign reserves slide to a critical low levels. Central bank reserves, which fell 30% last year and stand at eight-year lows of about $29 billion, are seen falling in the second half of 2014 after Argentina's main farm exports, soy and corn, are harvested and sold. But Argentina's financial markets slipped only slightly on the news of Greece's rejection as investors bet that the country would use the 30-day grace period to strike a deal with the holdouts. The restructured bonds stemming from Argentina's $100 billion 2002 defaults offer less than a third of the original value of the debts. The holdout have sued in the U.S. courts to be repaid 100 cents on the dollar. The debt drama is being played out in the New York this week with Greece's orders includes an injunction against Bank of New York Mellon and other payment agents from transferring money from Argentina to its restructured bondholders. Also in Manhattan, lawyers from the holdouts in Argentina raced against the clock to clinch a deal for settling the 7% of defaulted bonds that were not restructured. Grisa appointed a mediator to oversee the talks. Not to sound conspiratorial, but I think this looks like District Court is trying to make Argentina default once again, just so that they could go in and make a deal, some sort of deal to get some sort of national resources. Tell me what you think about that. Thank you for watching the Chicago Live Show.